Alright, so I played a game recently called Exile of the Gods. It's another one of choice of games and, uh, well, it's like a train. Slowly accelerating, getting faster and faster and then... Crash. Full stop with nothing happening after that. Horribly disappointing ending to the point where I think it ruined my enjoyment completely. Still, ignoring that, I enjoyed the game after the rocket start. And now, after playing it again, I encountered the exact same end. Don't know if that I don't know if I would actually recommend it. So it's a story about an exile, surprise, surprise, from his original country, kind of like an ancient Greece, sent to what I get the feeling is supposed to be some sort of Norse realm. He's plagued, plagued by dreams. The player has shown was shown his destiny and what he must do. So now it's his journey to do whatever the gods have in store. Eh. Yeah, kind of a preachy setup. So, yeah, I dislike the beginning a lot. It's definitely very pretentious, at least for first impressions. Sentences, half finished, for no word said, would paint the whole picture. No utterance, heeded by the fears. But soon, a change for story marches onward. This sort of thing. I am not a fan of that. But then it gets into a flow. Have a dream, react to it, act on it. Then some things in between and how they are tackled. There are definite twists and turns and it all seem pretty cool and similar actually to Divinity Original Sin 2 in a way. If you know the story of that, gods may not be exactly what we seem. I thought that, that was where it was going. Only it ended. Suddenly. You failed. The end. Congratulations. What I especially enjoyed was the relationship with the main companion, the mystic. Or in more common terms, priestess and the relationship player has with the gods. I explicitly scorned the gods at any opportunity, approached everything head-on and was strong and tough. So I was treated appropriately. At multiple points there was a conflict with the mystic, but she still stood that by me, and that conflict was kinda nice. At one point she stopped being a yes-man and instead shown her true beliefs, which I found respectful to the character. She totally could've just said and... Oh, you can do no wrong, screw the gods, just take me, hero! But instead no, she has her faith and she sticks to it, even if there are problems there and even if I may not be on the same side. Same with the gods, they use me, sure, but neither of us has to enjoy it. They are vain, self-serving, but there's this blatant dislike we have for my character because I kept being a heathen and telling them off consistently. And they still have to ask for help instead of trying to bullshit being benevolent or all-knowing or something. That's the point, that I like. Also, I like this strange, somewhat simple world. At first it seems like a lot of words and names are thrown around, but in the grand scheme of things it's pretty much just ancient Greece and Viking realm. Greece get a whole pantheon of gods, while Vikings get two. Viking gods are disliking each other and so do the people worshipping them, but they are still tolerating each other more than the Greeks. Still no open hostilities as a pact was made by the gods would neither will wage war on the other. That's pretty much it. Not complicated, so once I get my bearings and understood it, I enjoyed the world quite a bit. There are some other games, best example being Ponpara and the self Labyrinth game. That one? Man, it's just like constant names, titles, facts, spoon, and somehow it all feels like a children's book at the same time. Oh, and Wraith of a Sentinel. That one gets so much obfuscation that it's impossible to tell where and when players even supposed to be or what the hell are you even doing. I guess I'm just upset at how some writers are uh, up their own ass, and uh, here it's not the case, at least not as much. It's at least bearable, unlike those two. Anyway, I won't. I will spoil how it went for me. After going back to Greece, the Vikings decided to attack. Also, yes, I will just call them that, that's how I saw them. So, the Vikings were guided by the mystic saints, what the Greek gods are going nuts and betraying everyone, and the player was their pawn, spying on the honorable folk of the north. So ground fight with the one, see not so much, I must have gotten a bit confused by ramming ships somehow failing to ram, whatever. Still I, confront Still I confronted the mystics on the battleships and teleported with them. Then yada 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 and tried to make a move for the stone which should have taken the god's power. Then I fail. Get bound and the end. Thanks for playing, wanna play again? Tell others about the game, what I more? Okay I'll stop. I seriously just end there. It, it just ends there. It's like when you play a game and it goes, game over, continue, exit game. But it just went with exit game. Where are my answers? Why didn't I get an option to drain the gods of their power? How did they even get caught? I never wanted any power myself, I just wanted to free the mortals of the gods' tyranny. What happens next? What about the mystics? Do they keep water? Do Vikings get forgiven for an attack? Who punished... who pushed my dis destiny? Are gods just powerful mages, which is why it's the magic so illegal? 
I can probably get two or three more questions in, but I'll just stop. Point is, it's a cool ride, but then it just suddenly ended for me without any answers whatsoever. I played it again, and yeah. So, I played it as a full-on evil murderer dude and cheated stats a little. Same exact results. It's like the game punishes you for role-playing. I'm gonna bet if I pretended to follow a guest agenda and I can get the way ending I want. But that would not be what I wanna roleplay. Definitely a huge black mark on the game. So I don't know if I recommend it after seeing it play out the same exact way with different choices. These games are all about roleplaying. They offer way more flexibility when it comes to storytelling to the player. So... I expect to be able to roleplay different characters different ways and get different results. If I get the same exact result and there is only one way to get what I want. That defeats the entire freaking pur purpose of the game and the story. So, yeah. A huge mistake. Huge missed opportunity here.